Let's make a Hamlet wallet. This is the Hamlet. This is my original copper rivets, four pockets, but I have two versions, classic, which is this one. And I've got a currency version, which is a little bit bigger so that when you have currency folded up, it fits in a little bit better. Let's go with currency, but there's the idea. And it's just four pieces. One, two, three, four. And if you notice on these patterns, there are no measurements at all. The way that I'm gonna do this and show you how to do it is we don't need measurements. If you've got a pattern, just a couple of rulers. No measurements needed. Here we are, and someone's gonna ask, what do I make my patterns out of? Captain Crunch sometimes, and anti-bunch maxi pads. Whatever it takes, right? Hey. White mud, chocanoli. Now let that dry. I'll give it a good buff. just give ourselves a straight edge. What are you doing, little girl? Grab the straight bar from your bump jigs and the mini square. This is where the magic happens. Let's give ourselves a straight edge first. All four of those pieces are the same width. Let's grab one. That's straight, that's straight. We'll cut the tops off later. And your other mini ruler. Four pieces, pretty perfect. All four of these pieces have the same height because they all end at least in one spot at the top right there. So we can make all these the same height. Let's pick one, how about that one? So that is the exact height that they all need to be. We'll do all the curves later. There we go. We all know what the bump jigs are. So if you don't, I've got a video. I'm gonna link it to the description. Go see the whole video these. Also, Leather Master Square and the Centering Ruler. I'll put a link to those down in the description as well. They have everything from center punches to a center notch here so you can see the center here. This is for your strap cutter, center notch here and here. So if you're looking for the center of anything an inch, this is an inch and a quarter. This is an inch and a half. This is an inch. So you can set your 
strap to whatever you want, but what if you want smaller? Well, that's what we're doing today. Again, remember, link in the description for all these. Now we have two more sizes, actually three, because we've got this, which is a half of an inch. That is five eighths, and this one is three quarters. Again, you can use these to set your strap cutter. Also still got the center holes, center mark here, center mark here, metric, imperial. We've got you covered all over the place. There's a link in the description for these as well. You can get either one or you can get them together as a bundle. All right, let's get back to this. Let's do some curves. We only have three that have curves at the top. So we're gonna need scratch all, a uh, cutting instrument of some sort. I don't want Olivia in that bump jig right there. Just grab one of your four. Grab one of your four. Let's do this one. And your bump jig, like so. Scratch all and just trace that right there like that. Now I'll do the outside corners when it's all put together. I'll just clip them. But these curves, we'll just cut those by hand. And it's not that hard. Piece of cake. I'll do that again with the other ones. See how easy? Huh, one more use. What? Chloe, 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 it's okay. All right, while we've got the bump jigs, I'm gonna mark the these rivets. We have this pocket, this pocket. There's two that you can see on this one. So let me show you how to use that bump jig to mark these rivets. Chloe, stop. I don't know what that dog is barking at. Okay, so there's, here's where I've got my rivets marked. Remember these top two? So just line that up in there. Listen to Chloe bark. Mark those two. This one will go down here on the top. Then mark the rest. Easy peasy. Are you barking out the front window? What is it? Here's where we are. We've got our four pieces cut out. It's gonna look like that. And you can see the size difference. If you were to have currency folded in half, it would stick out of the top of that one a little bit. But this one, that's why that's the currency edition. All right, let's make these edges pretty. Barry King, need to make sure I'm ready for this. Yep, I'm ready. The one piece without curves on the back here, we want this to not be beveled inside. So just take that and you can see about where to go. Somewhere in there. Watercolor pen filled with leather dye. All right, let's polish these edges up. Kind of like that. All right, I'm gonna do the rest off camera. We're looking for something like that. A little bit pretty. Chloe, are you in here? This is what we look like. Front, back. We need to put logo on the back. And this client has requested this exact same logo on the front here. So let me go grab that. That one. All right, just need to put it on there. And remember we've got, these are gonna be rivets. 
you need to allow for the space for it needs to come up in here somewhere. I'll show you a trick for that too, using the bump jigs. Hold on. Arbor Press, Mascon and ZB Anvil. These are available in the shop. I'll put a link in the description. This is the 3 8 jig, the half inch jig. Remember, we've got our rivets in here. Just push it to the corner and that's it. Do the same thing with my logo. Let's do this one. Just push it to the corner. Let's start putting this thing together. A rougher. So that's the front. And that's the back. We need to rough up the inside for our glue. And here's another bump jig trick. Because you see that glue is going to stop down here somewhere. So we could just do this and this and figure out where it's going to stop. Right there. And we know that goes all the way to the top. And may as well get these roughed up while we're sitting here. If glue is gonna touch it, get it rough so the glue can penetrate, especially since I've got this tokenoli burnished in here. Son of a I'm gonna save you about an hour. I'm gonna glue all that up off camera. So be right back. How about those edges? Okay, I lied a little, a little bit. Originally I told you I was gonna punch these corners, but a lot of people don't have these punches, so I'm gonna show you a different way to do it. You just need scratch all, a sharp implement, and a bump jig, and either Captain Crunch or maxi pads. Let's go with uh, maxi pads. Let's just put that in the corner of your bump jig, get that pattern in there, and then just mark it with your scratch all. And the secret is a bunch of little tiny chops. Just follow that line. Like that. Now do that to the rest. So this is what I took away from each corner. It's about six chops or so, roughly, each one. Anyone can do it, just go slow. Let's start throwing some copper. Put some holes in here. We got our holes already marked and you might have a bunch of these different sizes. You don't need all these big heavy things. I use this little tiny one for 99% of what I do. Maybe 95%. So mask on a ZV anvil, Japanese cutting mat. Let's put some holes in here. Setting rivets. A lot of people shy away from setting rivets. They think it's too hard. It's not that hard. Just a little bit of practice. It's a piece of cake. Just need a couple of little tools. This is a Nipex clippers. 
a small jeweler's ball peen hammer. My son, Mason, Mask on Forge, made this handle. Again, remember that little tiny mall and a rivet setter. This is a double sided. Again, my son, Mason, Mask on Forge, makes these hand forged, hand hammered. That's all you need. Well, you could probably use that if you wanted to. That's up to you. All right, let's go make some noise. Quick note on ball peen hammers. I like this little tiny one. It's only seven ounces. As opposed to these big ones, I would much rather do 15 to 20 tiny controlled taps as opposed to one or two uncontrolled wax. So it's okay to have a small That's what she said. All right, are we having fun? Yeah, I'm having fun. If you're having fun, like, subscribe, comment, all that algorithm jazz. So just keep doing that to the rest and then we'll be done. Never waste any white mud. So here we go. Cards, stash pocket, and you can see the bills folded, fit in there a whole lot better. Brand new. Used with some love. That's what it's going to look like. Uh, big thanks to the captain and Maxi for helping out. And remember, if you want to see the video on the bump jigs, I'm going to put it right here. Just click on that one. And if you want to see the video on the rulers, right here shows you all the features and benefits. Take a look.